we want to analyze how a muscle will actually be functioning, we have to go down to the myofilament level. This is with the actins and with the myosins. And by that I mean that we need to draw out these myofilaments as they're actually situated within the muscle. And it's our understanding of this that actually has helped us uh, better uh, understand how athletic performance uh, works. And it also helps us to understand uh, if there are issues with the muscle, how to properly treat or provide therapy for, uh, for these skeletal muscles. So whatever happens at this level, okay, finish up drawing up your, uh, your actins here. Now we just put in the, muscle, uh, the myosin fibers. Okay. What I'm doing is drawing a series of sarcomeres. So whatever happens at the massive level of the muscle, the macro level, where uh, we need to understand what's happening at the sarcomere level. So to analyze that, there's a bunch of steps with this, but I just want to label up some parts of this sarcomere here to build up some uh, vocabulary with it. So what we see in this arrangement, what we see first of all, if I just follow on the notes list, you'll see that one sarcomere is attached to another by what we would refer to as the Z lines. I'm just kind of highlighting in black what the Z line is. So the Z line is just tying one sarcomere to another. And certainly we see another Z line over on this side. Okay? So this is what keeps all the muscles uh, together. If we see a muscle is tearing, sometimes what happens is it tears it uh, between different sarcomeres so they can't pull on one another. Now, the, if you take a look, we see some different regions. And so regions of the sarcomere, we would refer to in, uh, in just terms of letters. So the I band is the band that's defined as just actin. So if we look on here, the actin is outlined in blue. So this region from here to here, it would all be referred to as your I band, a region of just uh, actin only. And so this is a region of your contraction zone. If I want to know uh, how much this muscle is or what potential it has to contract, I look at how loose it is. So what we're seeing down below is a skeletal muscle that has been uh, that is completely loose. But what happens is as the muscle contracts, we're going to see that basically this actin will move in, this actin will move in toward that middle line right here. And so this would show me a fully contracted one because there's very little, if any, I band present. Okay, so going back down, we're seeing that this region right here, this is all I band and this is I band. Now, we can also look at it in terms of an opening uh, right in that middle region. So here and here, you'll see that that's a region of just myosin. Okay, so that is what we refer to as an H zone or H band. Okay, if you look at it, um, skeletal muscle under the microscope, this is going to be a lighter band. Um, and as is the I band, because there's just one set of fibers there. So this also tells me, you look up here, there is no real H zone or H band because the muscle is fully contracted. Now that leaves one more region. And this region, this diagram gets to be kind of messy when we do that, but this region is defined from the end of one actin, or one myosin, to the other end. So you'll see that there's both actin here and myosin present. And so we refer to this as your A band. Now this is kind of a darker band um, because we've got actually three levels of myofilament there. And this is uh, what causes that characteristic uh, striping that you see. Even in this diagram up here, we'll see light bands. You can even see where uh, a, a Z band is. We can see uh, the lighter bands and this darker band would be where that A zone is. So be able to draw up a sarcomere and label it. And again, just to do it rather than as one big mess, you can simply just go and do it with one sarcomere, one individual sarcomere pulled out. And so we'd see uh, the actins, we'd see the myosin. You would go through and label this as your I band, your H zone, your A band. And then we would just say, um, as it connects out, uh, to uh, other sarcomeres, this would be your Z disc or Z band.